Don't try this at home. Yeah, so I have a lot of videos that you can take as uh, instructional videos, uh, like the video I did on the bathroom uh, connection with the water pipes. Um, but I wouldn't advise you to start on your electricity yourself uh, without any knowledge. Uh, now, I have some knowledge. I already did um, the wiring of a house, a very big house. Uh, I got a lot of experience from that. Uh, however, uh, I never did a fuse box though, but I have uh, seen a lot of fuse boxes getting connected. Uh, in Holland, I had a job in IT and I helped also um, uh, electricians with uh, IT stuff that is related to uh, electricity. Uh, and I watched a lot of these guys implement uh, electricity in a house with uh, fuses and stuff. Uh, and I paid good attention there. So nevertheless, if you don't have any experience with this, don't try this in your home. So we nearly burned down the house this morning. Oh my God. Uh, I was having a funny smell here in the kitchen and I was running the dryer for like four loads. So at first I thought it was a dryer and then it turned off and I got uh, back to the house from the dog walk and I was like, it's still smelling here. And I smelled everything and eventually I ended up here with the electrical fuse box. It was covered. And when I uncovered it, I saw smoke coming here from this incoming fuel box. So it's probably because it's 30 years old and it never had so much to run like we're running now. Uh, so yeah, we got lucky there. <laughs> uh, today I'm gonna replace this because we have no electricity, <laughs> nothing. Uh, we have Eddie. Eddie is still running the camera system. <laughs> the only thing that's operational at the moment. No coffee. We need to get this fixed. Yeah, let me break in uh, one more time here in the video <laughs> with my warning sign. Um, if you buy a house in Portugal and it has one of these old uh, fuse boxes, I would really advise you like as soon as you get in the house to replace the whole thing. Uh, I replaced some wiring and stuff, but the fuse boxes will still look good to me. Um, but yeah, you see what can happen. So um, let them be replaced <laughs> uh, when you buy the house. And because if they're very old, um, if you run big loads on it, uh, this might happen. Back to the video. Yeah, sorry, one more time. <laughs> I like to explain this. Uh, let me get over here for a minute. So one thing is uh, you see the switch pointing uh, up and normally uh, when the switch is pointing up, it means it's on. 
Uh, not in case of this main switch here. Uh, this is uh, upside down. This was already like this when I came here. Uh, it's quite handy, this uh, kind of main switch, though, uh, before uh, all the other electricity. In Holland, we don't have this. Uh, while I'm standing here, you see me um, disconnecting the... Well, not disconnecting, but uh, the ground wire is, like, uh, hanging loose behind here. Uh, this was already when I came here. Uh, the ground wire is also uh, connected in here, but cut. <laughs> and it was connected in here. Or I presume it is connected in here because I saw it came up here. Uh, so I um, made my own ground wire. That's why these uh, connections are hanging here. Uh, do need to cover this up though. Back to the video. I didn't notice the other one on this side. Oh, 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 oh. Meu Deus. Uh, yeah, maybe we need a couple of more of these also. The, uh, the normal camera setup failed due to no power. So uh, I only have my iPhone. Uh, I connected now uh, the first, uh, like the interrupter, they call it in uh, Portuguese. Artlek uh, schakelaar in Dutch. No idea what it is in uh, English. It's like the main breaker before it goes to the other breaker. So I got that in and I tested it. So now there's no power on it with the test button. 
I put power on it and I activate it. And then use the test button. So that should be fine. Uh, now to connect uh, the other groups and see that we get some power back. I think I got that right. Uh, I only got one break right now. Um, seems to be working. We can have some coffee. And then I'll put in the other two breakers. At least that seemed to be working fine again. <laughs> How can I get through the day without coffee? Huh? No, I still had other ways to make coffee, but it's glad it's easy. Huh. We are completely up and running again. Good! The girls are getting impatient. Are we going to get our walk today before sundown or not? So now I can fix myself a sandwich. Turning into a swimming pool here. <laughs> Maybe the last trip we can take this way. River Street. Kira's having a swim. Andeka, Zoe Andeka. With the leash. Zoe Andeka! Okay, so she's bound to get stuck somewhere. For this. Meu Deus. There you are. You didn't get stuck? No, sweetie. Can we go home? The other way. Ah. Atrás. Anika. Thank you for watching another video of the Portugal project. If you want to follow the Portugal project more closely, you can also add it on Facebook.
or add me on my personal account on Facebook or Instagram. See you next time at The Portugal Project.